What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video we're going to talk about five ways that you can code with more confidence in 2020. If you guys are new to the channel, I help non-technical people get into coding and tech. So on this channel we talk about everything from startups to coding, tech, boot camps, all that good stuff. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, make sure you like, share, subscribe. It really helps me stay motivated to keep making this content for you guys. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. I wanna share with you guys the five things that I did that helped me feel more confident as a developer. Now, these are all things that I did once I already had my first job after coding boot camp. I'd already graduated. But again, if you're trying to get a second job once you get that first job, or if you're trying to just stay competitive on the job market, whether that's for freelance work or whatever you're trying to do as a dev, you're gonna wanna stay competitive. And these are the five things that I noticed that I did that really helped me and the people around me as well get freelance gigs or get their second, third job in tech. And I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a breakdown to help give you a path that you can take to feel more confident and kind of shake some of that entry level, you know, imposter syndrome. The very first thing you can do to start coding with more confidence is practice algorithms, okay? So whether you guys are using websites like edibit.com or leetcode.com or algoexpert.com, whatever free resources, there's so many out there. Get your hands on really good and challenging algorithm problems, you guys. I know edibit.com is free for sure. And you can also use Hacker Rank or anything like that, but go on there. I know it's not the most fun thing to be doing. It can be challenging. It can be hard. Sometimes you don't finish them, but ultimately that's the point. And that's why you're going to get better as a developer. If you do more algorithms, because you'll start looking at the problems differently. You'll start noticing patterns and how you can solve them. And you can start becoming more efficient and feeling a lot more comfortable with talking through your code pseudo coding and just being a better communicator as well as a developer working on the technical and the soft skills at the same time so working on algorithms is super 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 important so once you start solving them and they become kind of routine for you and you can start pumping them out then you can start going back and refactoring your solutions and getting better with time complexity efficiency in the algorithm talking through why you're using certain data structures why you're using certain types of loops and really showing how much you know, really showing your depth of knowledge to the person that you're talking to. And all that comes with practice, 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 practice. So I would say practicing algorithms is super, super helpful for feeling more confident as a developer just overall in general. So I'm gonna give you guys a really quick shout out, almost like a cheat code for something that was a great resource for me. It's not free, but it's, it's super incredible and it's called the Coding Interview Bootcamp data structures and algorithms by Steven Grinder on Udemy. And again, this is not a paid video. I'm not gonna get anything if you guys go and buy that course, but I can just say that it helped me just with every type of technical interview that you could expect to kind of be in on average from data structures to just common problems, fizz buzz, all the way up to matrices and coding linked lists and trees and graphs it, it goes from the basics all the way to some of the most complex problems that you would expect to face in any technical interview and he he shows you how to do it he walks you through different ways of solving each problem all right so the second thing that i have that's going to help you guys feel more confident as a developer is practicing your data structures and what i mean by practicing data structures is reading about them and then writing them on your own from scratch in whatever language you choose to use, whatever language you plan to interview with, try to understand how the data structures are built, rebuild them and use them, implement them and understand how they work, why they work, space and time complexity of each data structure is gonna be so important. But the more you do this stuff, it might not be the most exciting thing in the world of computer science, and I understand that, but the more you get familiar, the more you get comfortable with your data structures, the easier your algorithms will be, and the quicker and better and more efficient you'll be able to solve your algorithms, which will make you stand out so much more when you go into coding interviews or just talking to potential clients or stakeholders in a project. It's just you will feel so much more confident if you feel comfortable with your data structures and your algorithms. All right, so the third thing is gonna be projects. You need to have projects that pretty much give you the chance to think through architectural decisions on your own. 
And then that's going to also, you know, kind of force you to explore the language a little bit deeper and figure out what tools, libraries, methods might come with that language to really help you get out of certain problems. Whether you start today, you know, on free code camp or whether you guys are already out of boot camp and you're just trying to figure out, again, how to make yourself stand out getting that first job. These things are going to be universal answers to doing that. OK, so at no point our projects data structures and algorithms not important for any developer okay whether you're in the job market you already currently have a job these are just ways to improve ways to stand out ways to get hired it's just the universal truth of how to feel confident in this industry the fourth thing i was going to say is timed challenges when you're in the coding interview you might only be given 15 minutes to solve a certain problem or maybe 45 minutes for a more challenging problem if you're dealing with like Google or something like that. With that being said, you might want to start practicing or having another developer or maybe just a friend, even if they're not a developer, just have them time you and have them sit there and let you know when you only have five minutes left, when you only have three minutes left, when you only have one minute left on the coding challenge. And then that way you can start to see how you behave under pressure, how you respond. Do you start just throwing random code into the equation and start just guessing and panicking? You know, are you still poised? Are you able to communicate effectively under the time constraints? Like these are things that you don't want to wait until you're in the interview scenario or talking to a client or talking to a product owner when you start to show that you're not used to you know being under pressure or not used to being under time constraints or having to deliver on a deadline so by practicing these things and having other people hold you accountable it can help you feel way more confident when you are in a scenario where you're expected to know the deadlines the due dates when certain things can be delivered deployed you won't feel nervous or even just on a whiteboard challenge you won't have to worry about how much time they're giving you or will you be able to finish the problem you will just be able to go into your zone, kind of focus on, again, what data structures do you need to take to solve this problem in the most efficient way? You know, what is the, the best way to approach this problem? Pseudocode it out, talk through your solution, and then start having your pseudocode basically be already built before you even start coding. So by the time you start coding, all you're doing is translating your pseudocode into real workable code and number five the last thing i have guys is devops so devops can help you set yourself apart from a whole lot of developers in the industry right now whether they're boot camp graduates or they have cs degrees guys the whole world of devops is growing and there's so many tools from jenkins to team city to octopus to docker aws azure there's so many tools out there for deployments and cloud infrastructure and all these things that so many people still know nothing about guys so the deeper you guys go into the devops world and into each of those individual tools and get more experience with it the more valuable you're going to be and the more you're going to set yourself apart so i highly highly recommend that going into 2020 that you guys just get as much experience as possible with your projects and with devops as well because those two things will really help build your experience build your talking points for your resume and help you guys stand out from the rest of the field and get a job. So if you guys enjoyed this content, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys gave me a like, thumbs up, and subscribe. Leave me some comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you thought about this or if you have any feedback for me. It really just helps me stay motivated to keep making these videos for you guys. I love engaging. So let me, you know, let me know what you guys are thinking. Leave me any comments. If you guys are on the fence about going to a coding boot camp, you're not really sure if you want to go, but you're thinking about it or you're interested in just learning how to code in general, make sure you check out the freebie section down below, you guys where I'm giving away my intro to coding bootcamp course it teaches you everything that I wish I knew going into coding bootcamp for free you guys are gonna make a front-end project back-end projects you're gonna learn the basics the fundamentals where as soon as you walk into coding bootcamp you guys are gonna feel so confident and you're gonna have some projects under your belt already so make sure you check it out is daring the dev where you guys can check that out and until next time you guys this is Darian with daring the dev and I'll see you in the next video all right peace